All right, guys, here we go again. Um, blah, blah, blah. Who's this from? Does not say on the package. It is sent from, doesn't look like it's from Amazon. So um, let me let me just see if I can find the person who bought this. Roy Parks. Roy Parks, okay. Okay, let's see if there's an actual letter on the inside, though, because I would like to know who uh, sent this. But Roy Parks, you know, whoever that is, thank you. Ooh, this looks interesting. The Evil in Us. That looks interesting. I have never heard of this. Let me just get that right there. I've never heard of this one. So, uh, Roy, thank you for sending this. I really appreciate that. This seems interesting. This, did this just come out? Um, let me see if there's a, a year on it that tells me when it came out. 2017. Okay, it didn't just come out. But that looks very interesting. Very cool. I like the cover a lot. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this looks like a fun one. Six school friends meet up for their 4th of July celebration on a remote island at the Washington coast of the weekend for a fun and partying. But the good times quickly turn into nightmares when they unknowingly... I love when those words come up. <laughs> when it turns into a nightmare. Unknowingly take a new bioactive drug containing a virus that causes fits of psychotic rage. Only one girl, Bree, doesn't take the drug. And she alone must fight to stay alive. And her friends slowly turn into bloodthirsty cannibals trapped on the island... We must endure the unimaginable and desperate battle for survival. You know, this reminds me of uh, Evil Dead. Just a little bit. I like that. I like that. I can't wait to watch that one. Thank you so much, man. That that means a lot. Hell yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got an Amazon package. Hey, y'all. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Any note? No note. Ah, this is from, uh, Crystal, though. Crystal sent me, she told me she was sending this, Bram Stoker's Dracula and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I don't own Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, I own Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, thank you so much, I love, Br I like both of them. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula is one of my favorite vampire films, I think it's just absolutely a gorgeous movie. Let me open this up really quick to make sure the disc isn't damaged because, uh, it's not, it's, uh, wobbly on the inside. So let me open this up really quick on live camera. So, that's okay. Make sure it's okay. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein was out of the place, but okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Crystal. I like them both. I like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I watched that in school, and I've seen it before, too. Really enjoyable, really good performance by Robert De Niro. Really underrated performance, I'd, I'd actually like to say. Uh, Gary Oldman as Dracula is just Oscar-worthy. Fantastic film. Both of them. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Crystal. Thank you. Uh, I love the the monster movies and stuff, of course. Always fun to get that shit in the mail. Okay, here's the, the last package. So, let's go ahead and open this up. My, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use my knife. Fuck that. Okay. Reach in here for a note, of course. No note. Ooh. ooh hoo hoo this is one I'm very excited for, actually. I can't wait to do a reaction to this. We got Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And this was sent to me by Crystal, who's been loading me up with a bunch of vampire stuff. Thank you so much, Crystal. This is a reaction in the making. It's probably sooner than, than you think, really. I, I, I really been waiting to watch this movie for a long time now. Um, Paul Rubens, isn't it, who plays, you know, Pee Wee. So, uh, thank you so much, Crystal. All right, the next package here is from Spirit Scar. Spirit Scar has sent us something, and I don't think I think this might be the first time Spirit Scar has actually sent us something. Uh, I got to send something to Spirit Scar. Actually, she won the autograph, so uh, the signed picture. So I'm gonna have to send that to her. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got here from Spirit Scar. Thank you, by the way. You never have to send us anything, but when you do, it means means it really does mean a lot. We really do appreciate it. You know, it's always just it's just an option if you guys want us to unbox them, react to it. So, it always means a lot. Seriously. Um, okay, let's see if we we got here. Put a cardboard uh, thing in here. Pull this out. Looks like we got a letter. Reaction. Oh, okay, well, cool. Oh, this is for me. Okay. For Jordan, love what you guys uh, are doing with the channel and the range of films. Though I would say it would be fun to see you and Michael do a movie reaction together from time to time. And if I could recommend this film, I surely would. Uh, this is Santa, Santa, Santa Gria. Santa uh, Sangria. 
directed by Alejandro uh, Alejandro. Sorry if I, I mispronounced the name. Uh, Jodowski, Jodowski, a strange and violent film. This is a brand new Blu-ray, a slip and wrap uh, wrapper on the bottom. Though simply to cover up the batch of, to the box, the reaction would be best if you uh, go uh, go in a completely go in completely blind and completely fresh. Looking forward to this reaction, Spirit Scar. Thank you so much, Spirit Scar. That's absolutely sweet of you. There's a letter she sent us, and or he or she sent us. I I'm sorry. I don't know if you're she or he. That's my apologies. I'm not. I'm not bright. Okay, <laughs> but thank you so much. It means a lot. And let's pull out the Blu-ray that she sent us. It looks like a Blu-ray. Oh, she actually sent us the movie. Oh wow, that was very sweet of you. All right. Looks like we got something. Oh, she put the she put the paper here because the less we know, the better. Okay, thank you so much. She actually sent us the movie. Sana Sangria, uh, Sangria, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm, I apologize again if I'm butchering the name, but there is the Blu-ray she sent us. Uh, really looking forward to that. It looks very interesting. That looks very artsy, very artistic. I, I really dig it. Forget everything you have ever seen. Ooh. Ooh. That seems very awesome, and I appreciate you sending it. I've never heard of this movie, so that's going to be a really fun one to watch. Thank you so much. We will absolutely do a reaction for you. Thank you so much. Um, means a lot. Thank you so much, Spirit Scar. That's awesome that you even sent us anything. So, um, I will be getting your signed picture that you won to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Just cut it. All right, not looking in there. Wait, looking for a note. Always prefer to get a note so I can give the proper shout out to the people who deserve it. Um, it does not look like there is a note. Oh, no, I, I take that back. I take that back. Oh, Joel sent us something. I just saw his name. Hello, Jordan. Hope you are doing well. Just wanted to thank you and your uh, YouTube channel. You were the first live streamer who responded to my chat message. How hope you enjoy the Dark City coming separately. I got that, by the way. Thank you so much for that, uh, Joel. Joel. Hi, Michael. Someone told me you really wanted to see this movie, so... Oh, oh. Oh, it's a Blu-ray, so, and we we know most of the Blu-rays go to the collection, so I'll go ahead and I'll open this up for us. All right, let's see what we got first. Oh. My. God. I, I hope that focuses. Dude, look at that. You sent... You... Beautiful bastard, you sent Twilight. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a coincidence, too. Twilight! No! No! That's one of us! Oh. oh, I've seen this one. Michael hasn't. Fantasy Island. Oh no, I got Twilight! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Unrated in the theatrical versions. Oh my god. Fantasy Island. I have seen this. Michael has not. Might be a fun one for him to react to. Oh man. Look at, look at, thank you, Joel. <laughs> thank you so much. You're a blast. Oh man. Is is this the first movie? Because it's a there's a, feels like a lot of discs in here. Or is this the whole fucking franchise? Opening it to make sure. Oh, please, tell me it's just the first. Okay, it looks like just the first. Wow, thank you so much, man. That means a lot to me. <laughs> okay, Twilight's here. Yay. And Michael was sent Fantasy Island, hopefully to react to at some point. You know what? Uh, if he wants to react to Twilight, that'd be awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Joel. I appreciate that. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, come on. Please have a name on it. No, there is no name on it. What do we got here? This is interesting. The director's cut of Dark City, which is one that people have been recommending to me so many times now. I'm not even joking, guys. This one has been hinted at so many times now. It is incredibly insane. 
I've never seen it, obviously, so, like, this is gonna be interesting. The director's cut of Dark City. I'm gonna check again, see if there's a note. There's no note, so whoever sent me this, please comment your name. Let me know. I want to give you a proper shout-out. Yeah, I have a bed head. Just woke up not too long ago. Wow, interesting. I appreciate that, actually, a lot, because I know that some people have been recommending this a lot, like, a lot, and mostly after the crow reaction, that's when it was uh, recommended the most, like, the crow, so it probably has the same vibe. Kiefer Sutherland, Jennifer Connelly, uh, the, that, uh, Ru Rufus uh, Sewell, and William Hurt, great cast already. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, and it's directed by Alex Proyas, so I think. Yeah, directed by Alex Proyas. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, that there's a name on the inside. Always really want to give guys people shout-outs who send us stuff because they deserve it, you know? They don't have to go out and buy us stuff, but they do, and they love doing it. All right. Lizzie Burns. Hell yeah, thank you so much, Harley. <laughs> Enjoy your gift from Lizzie Burns. Enjoy your gift from Lizzie Burns. Thank you so much. You Thank you so much, Harley. All right. Harley sent us something. A couple of Blu-rays, it feels like. Or DVDs. One of the two. All right. Let's see what we get first. Oh, wow. We were, I was just talking to a friend about this movie. And here it is. The Frighteners by Peter Jackson. I'm pretty sure this is Peter Jackson directed. Let me just look at that really quick. Yes. Yes, it's Peter Jackson film michael j fox big fan of michael j fox thank you so much wow i'm actually really excited now i've never seen this movie so this is going to be a reaction for sure so excited for that one that i'm very excited for oh what is this we got something else here besides uh besides a blu-ray blu-rays what is this harley oh it's a pin oh i love pins Oh, fuck, that is so cool. I love that. If you guys could see that focus, it's the creature from the Black Lagoon. And it's a pin. I love that. That's going on my hat. I'm going to put that on my hat. If you guys want to start sending me pins, I'll put them on my hat. I love that. I love that so much. Thank you so much. That's so neat. That makes, that makes me smile, really. I mean, Blu-rays make me smile enough, but that's just awesome. We got one more Blu-ray. What do we got? What do we got, guys? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. Annihilation. Oh, God, is this from the same... Yeah, of Ex Machina. I haven't, I haven't even seen Ex Machina. That could be really cool. I gotta check out Ex Machina first. I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out Ex Machina first, but then I will definitely go and dive into a reaction for this film. I've heard nothing but good things about Annihilation. Actually, most people actually, like, rank it on their top, like, favorite uh, films of the last decade and stuff a lot of the time. So, like, are towards the top five and stuff. A mind-blowing experience. Oh, wow. And, you know, Natalie Portman. How, uh, man, how could you, you know, go wrong with Natalie Portman? You know? That is so nice of you, Harley. Thank you so much. She, gave, she got us the Frighteners and Annihilation here on Blu-ray. That's exciting shit. And then she also got this really cool... Creature from the Black... Let me see if I can get that focused in more. And... That's Church. Yay! The Creature from the Black Lagoon. I love it. Thank you so much. This is from somebody new. But I do know who you are, and I appreciate it. Hey there, this one is for Jordan. Hope you enjoy, whether you review or not. I hope you have fun. Love the channel from Gamer Girl, aka Lindsay. Thank you so much, Gamer Girl, Gamer Gal, uh, Gamer Gal, I should say. Not Gamer Girl, Gamer Gal. Gamer Gal, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you got at uh, me. I appreciate that, you sending me something. I mean, that just means a lot to me. Always does. All right, let's take a look at what we got. I'll let you guys take a look at it first. What do we got here, guys? Ooh. Ooh, now this is this is interesting. Gamer Gal, I've seen all of these movies. To be honest with you, I've seen a lot of movies in my life, so like 
I know, I'm one of those uh, movie reactors who's actually seen a lot of movies. Uh, I have seen The Serpent and the Rainbow. A very strange one, to be honest. I would like to go back and rewatch that one. So this is awesome that you sent me this. Uh, Shocker was a very fun one, not to be taken too seriously, but a lot of fun. Crazy movie about a, a guy who gets like put on the electric chair, and he's electrocuted to death, but he doesn't really die. He comes back, he has like some voodoo magic or something like that, and he tries to come back and uh, take revenge on some people. Crazy movie. And then probably his best one in this whole thing is The People Under the Stairs. Love People Under the Stairs. Probably my top three favorite Wes Craven films, easily. Uh, the suspense, I like the story. I actually just found out, thanks to you guys, that uh, People Under the Stairs was actually a, um, or like uh, uh, Wes Craven was actually going to be given the, the script for uh, um, Flowers in the Attic, but he lost the, I don't know if he lost the rights or that he just decided not to do it or they just took it away from him uh, and gave it to someone else. But instead, he made People Under the Stairs, which kind of has the same kind of vibe as, uh, as um, Flowers in the Attic. So that is really, really sweet of you. I'm trying to get it to focus on the DVD, but it's not like working. But let's go ahead and look at the back. You got the people under the stairs, uh, Shocker, and uh, the Serpent and the Rainbow. Crazy movies, all of them, but Wes Craven is a visionary. Um, so thank you so much for that, uh, Gamer Gal. I really appreciate it. You're a sweetheart. You tried it. You messaged me a lot on uh, page Patreon, and it means a lot. Uh, your support. All of your guys' support is just humbling as all hell. You don't have to, but when you do, it just means so much more when you guys just show your support. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Gamer Gal. Oh, cool. Pulled out the... Lindsay Holbrook. Lindsay Holbrook. Thank you so... You did not have to send us something. This is the first time I'm getting something from you, I think. A uh, gift from Lindsay Holdbrook. Lindsay Holdbrook. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong right there, but Lindsay Holdbrook sent us something. Thank you so much. Feels like we got a DVD, so let's go ahead and pull it out. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Not looking. Not looking. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. Shannara. I think it's how you pronounce it. Shannara Chronicle. Oh, the Shannara Chronicles, season one. Ooh, and it's MTV. I've never heard of this. Ever. That could be interesting. Best looking fantasy series on TV. I'm reading it. Oh, Collider said that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. I, you see, I'm always interested to get stuff I've never heard about. So this could be one hell of a watch. Oh, wow. And it does look really neat. It looks very sci-fi-esque. I'm assuming it has some sci-fi stuff in it. Let's just take a look. Based on the 26-volume book series by Terry Brooks, the epic story of Elven, an elven princess. Oh, wow. So it's fantasy. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, Lindsay sent us the, Shana the Shannara Chronicles Season 1. That might be something to dive into at some point on the channel. That looks very interesting. Thank you so much, Lin uh, Lindsay. That means a lot, actually. Put the note with it right there. Thank you so much. You didn't have to send us nothing, but the, man the fact that you did means so much. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one is also from Amazon. Obviously, there's probably a note on the inside, and it feels like there's a note. Wow, again, Lindsay Holbrook sent Enjoy Your Gift. Okay. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Oh, and look at that. Epic, epic, epic. And not only did we get season one. Oh, that's interesting. This says P Paramount Network instead of uh, MTV. So I'm assuming Paramount took over after MTV. But here is season two of the Shannara Chronicles. How fascinating is that? Oh, there's a familiar face on the back of it. Oh, wow. Wow. We got seasons one and seasons two from Lindsay. Wow. Thank you so much. Never heard of them. So, you know, that's always that's good. That could be a lot of fun. Wow. 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 Thank you so much, guys. If you like this type of content, always hit the like button. Let us know that you want to see more content like this. Uh, the next unboxing will be a live. So when I get more stuff built up, I'll do a live stream and we'll do it live. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. And until next time. Take care. Aaron Miller, who sent us something. Um, really excited to open this. Let's go ahead and dive into this here. Um, and I, 
very very sweet you know handwritten letters and all that stuff just very sweet you know you guys don't have to send us anything but when you do it means a lot sorry the desk is like all trash right now but i've been just so busy all right what do we got here oh wow got some more hand-drawn pictures i like it i like it i like it i will go buy each one of these so first off, we got this one right here, which I think is very cool. It's Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Got the movie, and then you got picture. There's Jason. Oh, yeah. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Really like that one. Thank you so much. And then we got Jason X. Right there. Hell yeah, Jason X, in the house, awesome. I just saw in the house, and I saw a couple of pictures on the back of houses. Thank you. All right, what's the next one? Elvis Presley, 1976 to 19, uh, 1976 to 1973, I think that's what that says. 1935 to 1977. 1935-1977, look at that picture of Elvis Presley right there. Trauma Miller, I can't, FBS can't spell, don't worry about it, man. That's a good picture. Hell yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, I like Elvis Presley, by the way. I, I, I like a lot of the older songs. Big fan. Ah, Jason Lives. Looks like we got tombstone right there getting struck by lightning the hockey mask the cemetery right there jason lives one of the better uh films in the franchise actually i think jason lives would probably be in my top five easily easily and then we got ah ghost jason i'm sorry about that ghost jason from never hike alone Hell yeah, and I'm a big fan of Never Hiking Alone. Actually, I think it's the best Friday the 13th fan film we've had to date, and I actually consider it to be a part of the franchise is how much I love it. Awesome. Those are some good pictures, man. Thank you so much. I, I The hand-drawn pictures are really fucking cool, and we really appreciate them, too.